You know what time it is. It's time for a review of that new All right, Torture Talk, let's get into it. All right, so today I'm gonna to review the new Tory Lanez, New Toronto 3. New Toronto 3. All right, Tory Lanez is a Canadian artist, Canadian rapper, I should say, um, from Canada. And Tory Lanez, you know, he first first made his way on the scene a couple of years ago. He's been, uh, I would say, he's been a little credible name into the music industry. Uh, just recently, he's been doing a lot of IG lives. I think he had, at one point, he had the most people on IG. He's a very funny guy. And um, Tory Lanez is a very talented dude. You know, I think that uh, um, he's very talented. He, he he does R&B and he can rap really well and he can sing pretty good too to me. I think he's, I mean, he's not off the charts, but he's he, he's pretty good at what he does. So, uh, get into this. So, I went into this New Toronto 3, some type of, uh, how would I say, just, just expecting, just expecting a little bit something different given the climate of where music is at right now and how some artists are taking a different direction you know because I think that uh, and I'm gonna get into my theory of a uh, trap and I think why uh, trap music is kinda dead now and a lot of people are looking for uh, they looking for the next the next flow or the next thing to catch on the next trend to catch on to but as of right now uh, New Toronto 3 so alright so this album for me, it's just a typical same old, same old, same old, same old album. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty so, so, so album. I think going from track one down, I mean, it's not, I didn't, I, 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 I was wishing or hoping that he did something a little different, but on this, no, nah, he just, he just stuck to the same formula that most artists do that because to me they show no growth or they don't feel like they need to go outside the, that room that they're in and this one clearly shows that I mean he had a couple of joints on here that I thought was okay and he had some joints on here I was like eh, I really didn't care for I probably would never listen to again overall I listened to this project maybe about three or four times I've kept it on repeat so I wanted to get like the real feel of it. He has some links, some zingers on there, some nice one-liners on there. The songs that he's rapping on, I really appreciate. I actually think that the two songs that he rapped on with no hooks, I actually think that those were the best songs on the album to me. I think these other songs is just typical braggadocious talking shit uh, songs. And it's like, when are we going to give this up? Like, if you're an artist, be an artist. This is, if you if you're just trying to do a money grab, then say that. So yeah, I'm putting out an album just to grab grab a couple of dollars. You know what I'm saying? You could do that. But for me, with all this talent that Tory Lanez display, it's just going to waste to me. It's like, what are you doing this for, Tory? You're doing all these 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 fucking trap songs that's been played for the last two to three years. You're still doing the same flow that these other artists been doing and they're not successful at it so why are you still doing it you you are, you have the ability to rap like really well you have the ability to make music like really well i don't know why i keep looking over there i guess i'm trying to look at the track list but i'm not going to tell you how the track list is but you have the ability to do all this good stuff so why you ain't doing it why you not being creative why you ain't bringing some other people in to create something new. You're giving us the same regurgitated shit that you've been doing for the last four or five years. 
It's like, okay, yeah, you did a new song, but if, it, if it's, is it really a new song? If it sounds like your old song? Is it really? Is it really like, 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 I mean, if you, if you stepped out the box and did three or four songs on this album, and they were totally different from what you usually do, and then you did some of them other songs, I would have a different outlook on this album. I'd be like, yeah, I would probably have a different outlook because I'm not expecting people to totally change, but I expect you to step out being a great artist. And this one ain't it, bro. This is a, this is a so-so album, man. I'm I'm giving this album a a, 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 a light six. You know what I'm saying? I think that it, it, his rapping ability was really well on this album, but that ain't enough to, for me to give him a higher score than that. The reduction was okay. The production the instrumentation was just typical typical beats that you would hear. I could take him off and put Future on here. I could take him off and put Drake on here. I could take him off and put a bunch of artists on here. And it'll sound just like their album. It's like no different. So the new Toronto 3, like 6. You know what I mean? Comment, share, subscribe. Tell your family about me. Hit that hit that notification button. You know what I'm saying? All that good shit. And everything, man. You know what it is. Torture Talk. New Toronto. 3.